What's that preparation like? When like, are you going full method when you're going full goat on this? Like, are you out there in a farm? So I just, you know, watch some goats. King, I am talking. Ha! Who knew my voice would be this low? And then that was pretty much it. Where would you rank playing a baby goat on your echelon of films? This one's way up there. Top well, three at least? Yeah, top three. That's good. Top three. Yeah. The internet is full of great goat videos. Yeah. Goat and sheep videos full of them. Yes. Yeah. A lot of screaming goats, a lot of fainting goats. <laughs> yeah. it's so sad. TikTok's going to be full of them for sure. So <laughs> <laughs> that weird screaming thing. They oh, do. yeah. <laughs> Alan, thank you so much for joining us today in the movie podcast. We absolutely loved this movie. You were so phenomenal in it. Thanks. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. Now, you've been a part of some of our favorite movies of all time. Where would you rank playing a baby goat on your echelon of films? This one's way up there. This one's up there because, like, of all movies that I've of been in, movies, of all movies, I've even been Dodgeball. Even Dodgeball. Uh, I. You know, playing in a being in a Disney film is is very high up there immediately, but to be sort of the right hand goat, right hand man right. goat guy, is uh, is very is very high up there. So uh, I I don't know an actual ranking. Gosh, top three at least. Yeah, top three. That's good. Top three. <laughs> That's good. And what is what's that preparation like? When like are you going full method when you're going full goat on this? Like, are you out there in a farm? No. Preparing? No. I went I went full method when I did Hey Hey, uh, the chicken, and right. I was I was cooped up for a while, oh. and then it was really coming back out of it that was hard. It took me a while, it took you a while. <laughs> and so I didn't want to go go back to that dark place. So I just you know watched some goats, right, and then. That was pretty much it. Yeah. The internet is full of great goat videos. Yeah. Goat and sheep videos full of them. Yes. Yeah. A lot of screaming goats, a lot of fainting goats. <laughs> yeah. It's so sad when they do that. It's so weird. Yeah. It is. Yeah, that's that's the power of it. Now your goat will be showing up in those videos probably as like an overlay. You know? <laughs> that's how you got to think of it. Oh, that'll be interesting. Oh, yeah. TikTok's going to be full of them for sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> that weird screaming thing. They oh, get. yeah. <laughs> So I'm curious now that that, that, that you know, your character is going to be so popular with children, obviously. You, you'll be selling toys. People right. will probably be naming their pets after Valentino, and that's oh. a huge thing. How does that make you feel? Oh, great. Now that I think to be a pet, would a pet name is fantastic. That's, I mean, children, are, that's great and all, but pets, come on. That's huge. That's, yeah. So, I mean, I know some people aren't able to have pets, and those people have children, and that's great for them. Well. But but for the ones who are able to, are blessed enough to have pets, yeah. if they name a Valentino, that's pretty great. That's pretty badass. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Now, your your voice has always been so unrecognizable from project to project. Like, you, the real ones know when they're hearing an Alantetic voice. Mm -hmm. when, when did you kind of discover that you love doing voices, and, like, what was that process like for you? Were you just practicing in the mirror, or...? No, I didn't really... I just sort of, whatever role came along, I would learn what I needed to for the role. Uh, I luckily have had a lot of extreme roles that have re uh, required, you know, learning different accents. Um, when I did King Candy for uh, Disney, which was the first one I ever did for them, doing King Candy was wonderful because he was half the, uh, he sounds a lot like um, Edwin. That's what he was, yeah. he was supposed to be, Edwin. And I was a big fan of Edwin from his vaudeville days and his early television days. I, I used to be very interested in early television. And he was, a, he, he was a star of that time. So, and he's a big Disney star because he, he was the Mad Hatter. Right. So I had a blast doing him because as we did it, he just, he just kind of grew and he could say anything. He could, <laughs> like he didn't, he would, there's, I said no words there. There's no. just noise. And they would animate to the noise. So, something they'd have something happen to him to make that sound make sense so that's when i really saw what the relationship between animators and voice actors can be and it got pretty exciting then no i, I can imagine what was the what was the idea behind valentino's voice then like what were you going for opposites <laughs> you know he's <laughs> such a cute little guy uh with his little pajamas on and we had tried some high voices and tried some different stuff and uh, that was, you know, maybe the fourth voice we tried and it just clicked. And that was even, even that, that, why, you know, who knew my voice would be this low was a, was a line, was something I was just saying to everyone there yeah. and they ended up putting it in the movie. 
it, it, it always kind of reminded me of your clay face. And it just, yes. it made me so happy to hear that because <laughs> that is one of my favorite characters that you've done. Clay face! <laughs> it's the <Yeah>. guy. <laughs> He's a bad actor. <laughs> Han Solo of everything. The opposite of you, absolutely. Oh, yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> just, he just is so indulgent. Right. And yeah, it is, it is very similar. That's very cool. That's awesome. Now, you mentioned you've already been part of the Disney family for so long. You've appeared live action, animated, Marvel, Star Wars. What keeps you coming back to the Disney family? Uh, the the phone call when they call me. <laughs> That's that <laughs> say, makes sense. Hey, you want to come back? Um, you know, it's it's a fortunate. It's very fortunate uh, for me that I get an opportunity to do all of these because it really is the highest level of quality and the way that they make things is surprisingly uh, organic and artist friendly. You know you. I, I, so I, it's easy to think, you know, because Disney owns so much, mm -hmm. and Disney is everywhere. Disney owns Marvel. Disney is um, Star Wars. Star Wars. Lucas yeah. Films. Uh, they own Hulu. They own so many things. So you start to think like Disney owns everything. But when I saw Wish, I was like, yeah, maybe so. But this is what, this is why they own everything. Yeah. This is what they do well. Yeah. It's this. This is. The, I think it's what they do best. Um, and to be a part of that and it to be so, you know, kind of family feeling is, is great. It's, it's a gift. That's wicked. That's awesome. Now, there's a, there's a video game that came out very recently, Marvel Spider-Man 2. Yes. And there's this lovely voice performance by yourself and Nathan Fillion as the Bodega Cats. Yes. I don't know. What was that like? How did you get to that point? What, what was that experience? Josh Dean directed that. And he is a Canadian, uh, Canadian son. Very funny, uh, great guy who's a friend of, I met him through Nathan Fillion, and he said, hey, do you guys want to do this? And we just went to the studio and recorded it one day, and it, it's the dumbest thing. We're, I, we're copying, I've copied his <laughs> Bodega Cat business uh, yeah. idea, and so it was just us BSing with the two with each other you know oh my gosh is that your costume <laughs> what what's wrong with my costume i'm just saying hey cat kitty litter that's what i'm just that's what i'm smelling hey i'm going all the way and just you couldn't we just kept talking and then they that's would, fun. And then josh would steer us a little bit here or there and that's awesome they put so much of it in the video game it was so cool to see like when you swung by and i'm like wait that sounds so familiar <laughs> and then here and then seeing the credits after yeah that was very very cool um obviously Disney's Wish is celebrating the 100 years of, of Disney's legacy. And there's so much about this movie that pays homage to, to Disney over the time. I'm curious for you, you know, what is, what is your favorite Disney movie? Oh, it's a loaded question. Oh, no. Um, my favorite is probably Jungle Book. Oh. Like if I go, like of all time, Jungle Book. Yeah. Just because the music is so great. And I'm a big Louis Prima fan and he was the original... Uh, King Louis, mm -hmm. and you can't you can't beat him no. for for singing and uh, hit the song with him and Baloo. It still makes me laugh. Yeah, still makes me laugh. I've heard it so many times when Baloo comes out and he it's his, he's dressed with a, a skirt and he's got coconuts on his face. Hey, is a bomb noni? I can't. <laughs> it kills me. I kills love that. That's awesome. And I'm sure you've been getting asked a lot, like, you know, what is what is your wish? But I'm more curious, but what is your wish for Disney for the next hundred years? <laughs> oh, Ooh, shorter lines at the park. That sounds rude. I don't <laughs> no. want to say, look, we just love the parks. But, shorter lines uh, is not a bad thing. I don't take shorter lines. They'd like it to be, you know. Probably. Longer lines, yeah. <laughs> they, they, but, yeah, but, you know, maybe brisker. I don't know. Um, what do I want for Disney? I want them, you know... To just, <laughs> what can I want for Disney that Disney doesn't already have? <laughs> uh, more Valentino roles, more, more spin Valentino roles. You know, at one point I wanted a a uh, King Candy sings sings old vaudevillian song. So I'm gonna go back to that wish. That King Candy sort of more in the in the in the vein of uh, Edwin <laughs> that he sings old vaudevillian songs like the book was so much better than the picture yeah. like all those old corny old timey songs I love that that'd be really good and I, again would love to see also Valentino pop up in maybe some you know short films or Disney Plus original series maybe even yes yeah. here's oh here's what I wish that 
we do a Moana 2 and that Hey Hey gets a song. Oh. Well, there's a live action version coming out, so maybe. I don't, I can't imagine I'll be involved in Hey Hey's work you, you, there. You could, I mean, you already went method the first time. <laughs> so I can't it's go not back, that, man. you can't go back in. I can't go back to the coop. <laughs> Every I time they pull me out. Yeah, no. <laughs> No, yeah, I, I, I would like a, a Moana two animated, and I would like a song, a I very moving, deep, heartfelt ballad. ballad for Hey Hey. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll work on that then. Great. And before I wrap up, I my co-host Daniel will kill me if I don't bring up Dodgeball and Steve the Pirate. Yeah. How did that come to be? And is there any chance that we're going to get a Steve the Pirate spinoff? Maybe you playing dodgeball on a pirate ship or something like that. They are making a dodgeball too, or they wrote a dodgeball too, and it's in whatever form of development. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Uh, yeah, that's all I know about that. How it came about, I just auditioned. I honestly didn't think much of it. I thought the script was very funny, but I kind of didn't understand the role. Yeah. Until I went to the till I went to the callback audition, and I saw some really good actors there, and I was like, "Oh, this is for real. This is gonna be good. Like, I need to, I need to do a good job at this." And so, <laughs> it went well. Uh, we did some improv. I said that we could make money for for uh, average Joes by, um, oh, by drilling for oil in whales. <laughs> That was the thing that we could get oil from whales. <laughs> <laughs> Something about scurvy, and I got the role. That's it. That's all it takes. Well, Alan, thank yeah. you so much again for spending your time with us today on the show. We absolutely love this movie. Valentino is an absolute hit. Thank you for taking your time. Yeah, my pleasure. Awesome. Mm -hmm.